I would like to begin by asking you a question. What does lung cancer, heart attack and stroke all have in common? Illness, a consequence of a particular lifestyle or death. Well, I think many of you have probably also arrived at the same conclusion that they are caused by inhaling dangerous clouds of chemicals and toxins, which tighten your lungs as the harmful chemicals destruct lung tissue and narrow airways. The tobacco sticks to your lungs like a dark shadow, blackening your delicate organ. And primarily because of this, 25,000 people die in the UK each year. Yes, I'm talking thousands where even one life matters. Don't these statistics upset you? Because I'm definitely upset. But no, don't hesitate or stop. I mean, carry on the nine million supposedly responsible adults who smoke cigarettes each year. I'm sure you're aware your blood cells are being murdered and your blood vessels are collapsing, just like the hearts of those who value you, who don't want you gone because you must love the feeling, the psychological sense you are not inhaling air. And don't get me wrong, it's easy to get caught up in bad habits which jeopardise health, waste time and are difficult to change. One such habit is smoking and one such smoker was my father who smoked 11 to 12 times a day for 28 consecutive years and whilst addictively smoking he was challenging himself to look after his health and his responsibilities. Then, exactly 18 months ago, my father was hard hit with a heart attack. Suddenly, all his life-threatening, dangerous actions were followed up by a consequence. And as unbelievable as that sounds, yet my father, the strong foundation of my family and one of the most valuable people in my life was enduring suffering. The father of five, a brother, a son and a husband was suffering the sudden consequences of smoking. This was the catalyst for change for my father, but it should not take a near death experience to make us want to change. Because fortunately, my father has beat his addictive habit after, after nearly three decades. I know, three decades, that's a very long time. But we have to step in for our loved ones before it's too late. Emotions have the power to change your actions and emotion is a powerful force which is only available to us. Therefore, use it to fuel our willpower and make change as nothing is impossible. And as cliche as that sounds, yes, I mean nothing if we have the determination and strong will to make it achievable. My final message to every smoker out there is beat the habit to keep the heart beating.